Welcome to the Ward's 10 Best Engines of 2014. But now, let's get to why you're all here. The Ward's 10 Best Engines of 2014. First, I'd like to give you an inside look at the things our judges considered as we evaluated the year's engine, this year's engines candidates. Let's take a look. Celebrating. 20 years. Of wards. 10 best engines. It's more of a high pitch noise than a, than a deep guttural noise. Well, it's a Corvette, so you know it's got uh, uh, just bootfuls of power. I kind of want this uh, vehicle to be a little rough and tumble. This is a historic moment for Ward's 10 Best Engines. I'm uh, Tom Murphy, executive editor of uh, Wards Auto World magazine. Thank you all for being here. Great to see so many uh, familiar faces. And, and uh, thanks again also to uh, Blue Sky Productions for uh, helping us with that uh, video montage there, uh, showing you some of the evaluation steps in terms of our, uh, our picking of the 10 best engines. You can also visit wardsauto.com to see other videos that we shot ourselves. Uh, we evaluated 44 engines this year, uh, and we shot video for about half of them. We bought a GoPro camera. Um, and, and we had some fun with it, especially in the uh, Corvette. So, um, Also at wardsauto.com, you can see the video roundtable of the wards judging um, you know, as we were talking about the 10 best engines. Um, it's, it's, what you see is not the actual selection process because that's, that's the sort of thing that you don't really want to see. It's, uh, it, sometimes it gets, it gets rather unfiltered. Um, so um, I've been asked to explain the process of uh, picking the 10 best engines. Uh, but I'm hoping that after 20 years, a uh, few of you in this room really need to hear uh, that we study spec sheets, that we delve into new technologies, that we chart fuel economy, that we pay attention to NVH, we fill out score sheets, and then we meet and we slug it out uh, until we reach a consensus on our 10 favorites. Uh, there's, there's an enormous amount of research that goes into our evaluation process. One engine might seem truly remarkable until you compare it side by side with other engines in that same segment. Uh, and then once you do that, sometimes an all-new engine is a little less impressive. Uh, we are looking for those engines that stand taller than their direct rivals. Uh, and that explains how we can have a list this year with both the Corvette V8 as well as the Ford three-liter or three-cylinder EcoBoost. Um, no, they don't compete with each other. Um, but we look at them in context of their segments. And as a staff, we all take this very seriously. Um, we approach this competition the way smart, consumers approach buying a car. Um, what do smart shoppers do? They do their homework until they know if the car that they are considering truly stacks up. And that's what we do. Sometimes you just know when you've come across a great engine. Is it smooth, under hard throttle? Uh, can you push it to the wall and still get decent fuel economy? Does it get you off the mark cleanly and make your palms a little sweaty? John McElroy talks about the 100-yard test um, this is a test where you can tell within 100 yards of driving a car if it's fantastic or if it's a dog. And we feel the same way about engines. Uh, picking the 15 best engines every year is very easy. Narrowing it down to 10 is where the real work comes in. So consider this. We have evaluated uh, about 35 engines every year, uh, engines as well as the uh, propulsion systems, for the past 20 years. And that's uh, 17, or uh, that's 700 powertrains. We learn something from every engine that we encounter. 
we can find a lot of reasons to consider an engine to be noteworthy. Perhaps it's the valve train control, or it's the materials innovation, or the overall fuel economy, or else it's the exhaust tuning, or, or else it's, you know, it's the uh, modular uh, construction. As we're picking this year's winners, we wanted to somehow recognize 20 years of 10 best engines. So the editors pulled out this sheet that you'll see in the booklets there at your tables. Uh, in the back, we have a, a grid showing all the engines that we've had in the past 20 years. Um, the editors went through that list and ranked their favorites of the past 20 years. And you'll see in the program that I wrote a story about those selections. Uh, it was kind of a fun project. So on behalf of the awards editorial team, thank you once again for being here. Thank you for your passion, for your uh, dedication. Um, give yourself and your colleagues a, a round of applause. Thank you.